Hi everybody. Welcome. It's Friday Night Live time. You know what that means? It means we're going to paint. It means we're going to chat. It means we're going to giggle. And um, hopefully you might learn something. I usually end up learning something and so hopefully you will also learn something. Uh, my good friend Quita Allen will be on here in just a moment. And um, let's see, it's Friday, March 8th. You know what March 8th means? Sorry, I'm taking my boots off, guys. I just got home from a really cold baseball game again. And um, you know what March 8th means? Someone who can tell me? Who can tell me what that means? What does it mean when it's March 8th? Boom, Abigail wins. Abigail, it's my birthday. Go shawty, it's your birthday. Oh, and I just kicked my boots off on a live. Okie dokie. Hey, hi guys. Yep, it's my birthday today, so I appreciate you guys joining me tonight and celebrating with me. How fun is that, right? We are actually gonna paint an actual old door, okay? So I had Matt drag it in here in a second ago, um, and I had him, instead of it being upright, I thought, you know what, we could get more viewage here if we just laid it down. So instead of painting an old door, we're gonna actually paint an old door, okay? And so Q's got one that she's got ready, but um, yeah, so that's better. Okay, boots are off, and now I'm in my socks. Another cold baseball game, but we won in a walk-off home run. Yes! That was fun. That was fun. It was intense for a while, but it was fun. Um, hi, Gail, it's my birthday. Go shorty, it's your birthday. That's the song Q sent me this morning. I think that's who it was. Um, yeah, by 50 Cent. Happy bridal, happy bridal. Spell check. That's awesome. You guys, thanks for all the birthday wishes. So, um, winner, 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 winner of the paint. Um, I forgot to bring the sticky note out here. It's in there on the table and it's oh, Robert Gloria. Robert Gloria, you've won some DIY paint. Thank you, you guys, for sharing this video. You are so awesome, but I love to give away DIY paint. I love to get it in the hands of as many people, um, as as many people as we can. So when you share, you automatically entered. And um, Robert Gloria, thank you for being here every week and sharing our videos. Q and I so appreciate you. And so I'm going to send you some paint. So give me a message, send me your address. You guys, thanks so much for being here. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And because it's my birthday, um, you just I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna say. What is it about? There's something about, like when my grandma got older, all of a sudden things came out of her mouth that it was like, is that appropriate? Or not a, Not that it wasn't appropriate, but it was like, how do, why do you think you can get away with that? It's kind of like that on your birthday. You think you can say things? Can you really say that? Or can you really, yeah, 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 I don't know. I don't know what it is, but that's kind of how you feel on your birthday. Um, so we got an old door. I'm gonna pull up my good friend, Quita Allen, and see what her door looks like that she's going to be working on. Shorty, it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. I don't even know if that's the right words. Did I say that right? Because I sometimes change the words. Anybody else change the words? I'm pulling you up, Q. Where are you? I saw you were on a live a second ago, getting all set up. Happy birthday to your mama. Thank you, Gail. Hi, pretty. Happy birthday. Oh, Shorty. I don't know why. I don't know why that's the song that comes to mind. I guess it's because you sent that to me, and so I've been singing it all day. I sent it to you. That's like a good birthday song. It is. It it's is. So it was. I was in my robe this morning in the kitchen, and Matt was saying. I need Dan. Matt was saying goodbye, and I was. I, we were turning it up, and we were. Just, yeah, yeah, and we played it this morning. Thanks for sharing the video, you guys. I so appreciate you guys. So um, it's my birthday, and totally off topic. I have something to tell you, Q. Okay, yeah. so the other night for Talk To Me Tuesday, which is this thing we do in my Creative Connection, you guys, um, two, night, two weeks ago, I was singing Just To Kill Time. It's Talk To Me Tuesday, Tuesday, we need a theme song. And I was going on and on about how we needed a theme song, okay? So then one of my, right. um, one of my members sent me a message and she said her husband writes music has guitars, mics, everything all over the place. So she was like, we're going to put together a little ditty for you. So I'm like, are you serious? So then I got to think it even further. We are so overdue for a theme song. Like, you and we I got to get one. Okay. So, <laughs> but it has to have some, it's got to have some funk and I some know. rhythm and some, no mellow, yeah, mellow it can't stuff. be. Uh -uh. 
no jingle kind of thing. No, no jingle, no, no mellow yellow. But I'm talking like, go shorty, it's your birthday. I mean, I'm talking, let's go. Oh, we do not own the rest of this music. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not, I don't want it to say it's your birthday because it'd be a theme song. But yeah, we need a theme song for Friday Night Live, you guys. We need like a... Oh yeah. yeah, we need that. And so if I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to this gentleman about this. And then I also know the, um, the little girl, little girl. She's as old as I am. No, she's not. That's rude. Um, the girl that wrote the little theme song for Re for um, Rachel Hollis's morning show in the morning. I don't know if anybody knows who that is. Okay. But she's she's the music teacher across the street. She just happens to be here in my neck of the woods, and I know her, and I have her phone number type yep. thing not phone number but oh. I have I can message her so then I'm thinking I can have her write the theme song yeah that'd be fun don't you think you were you're not as excited about it as I am you know what I gotta tell you something y'all gonna get really mad at me and you're gonna laugh a little bit but I gotta go pee <laughs> hashtag q break she had to go pee she didn't go to the bathroom before we started is this for real right now i'm sitting here telling her that i'm gonna have a theme song made and she's not excited and i'm like why isn't she excited and we're gonna do a theme song for goodness sakes yes the, the the morning show that nobody's talking about little miss sunshine she's my she was my kid's music teacher across the street here and so if if this other gentleman is not up to it or doesn't want to or can't, I'm going to ask her to make us a FNL theme song. Right? That's so fun. So I'm sitting here telling her, and I'm like, she's not reacting the way I'm expecting. It's because she had to take a potty break. So she has a door behind her. Guys, we're actually going to paint doors instead of paint a door on a canvas like we did last week, which I think she's going to show you hers. Um, I've showed you mine. Um, but yes, this right here. This is an old headboard that I have had for 15 years. It's a door. It's not a headboard. So when Elijah, who's now 17, was two, we made this his headboard. And we used the green and, like, the cream color. On the other side, it's white. You guys may have seen that in some of my photographs most recently. But anyway, now she's giggling. Okay, that was a blur. That was a flash of lightning. Woo! Are you good? Okay. I'm ready. Are you good? I feel better. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, I just, I, I was like, I cannot stand here dance around for an hour. I thought you were like, oh, I thought gosh. you were like starting to test out the theme song music, like starting your moves. And then I was like, I don't know. She's not really feeling it. I couldn't even, I couldn't concentrate. I was like, <laughs> and then I was like, can I, can, and I kept just thinking, can I wait an hour? Can I, no. Cause I always like go right before. But I was doing a dance, that's for sure. I did wash my hands. I probably didn't get all the paint off. It was a quick one. Well, <laughs> it was a quick wash. Hey. Yes. So, yeah. I hope that you're excited about our theme song idea. But I'm very excited about our theme song. I can't wait to, to do a voice judging so we can turn our chair around. Ooh. Right? Oh, I like that idea. Can, can we have auditions? Let's audition. Yes, we can have auditions because we got we have singers that paint. That is fabulous. There, what was that one girl's name where she was on? I can't remember. You did a, a an interview with her, and she was on like cruise ships. Yeah, yeah. And sang. Sorry. What is her name? I loved the way she sang. Yes. Yeah. She's like. The Loved it. Okay. Yeah, she's a vintage hen or the vintage rooster or something like that. But um, some kind of chicken. Or Sherry. Something the chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sherry, that's it. Sherry. I just remember she's blonde. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so um, yes. I'm sorry about the cue break. It was a it was emergency. Girls gotta go when a girl so gotta okay, go let's. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna when we can hit. All right, I don't know if you guys can see shares, but I have a very special song that I am going to sing tonight. 
right here on live, but we have to have, I don't know, how many shares do we want before I, I say it? Because the more you share, the more people watch, so we can have like 200 people watching. If I see 200 people, I will sing. If we get to 200 people, you're going to sing a song on here tonight? Yes. So we're at one, uh, what I can see is like 178. So you guys got to share. People. Come on, people. Let's get her a And just share and say it's, it's Dion's birthday party. So it's a good it's one. A good song. Oh, oh, I like it. Okay. So I know. we're going to paint doors right now. Did you finish your painting from last week's yes. episode? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Sure. Go, go, Shawty. It's your birthday. Oh, you're all fuzzy, wuzzy, and pixelated. Okay, so it's a blue door. You've got script on the concrete wall. Looking awesome. Thank you for sharing, you guys. Got brick. That looks great. Yes. Thank you. Yes, it looks great. It's huge. That looks Yeah. Let's see. You seem a little you seem Apparently, a little, I think you don't seem too pumped, pumped about it. Are we not too pumped? I, I don't I don't you know what? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize right now, y'all. <laughs> I am utterly utterly crazily exhausted and i'm really trying to not feel that way so if you'll just bear with me we'll we'll get this pumping and i'll feel better in a minute hey it's my birthday for goodness sakes i know i wanted to come and see you for your birthday and i couldn't get away and i'm sad about it so i'll be okay guys i see you now I'm sorry. So yeah. Crazy. Well, anyway, this is I'm not. You guys can tell me. I'm not sure if it's done. I'm not sure if it needs some more love or if somebody just loves I it, love they it. can buy it. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you. So what color should we paint with? So pick, pick the colors that we should paint with tonight, you guys. The color on this is like a creamy yellow, but you know why it's yellow, don't you? It's because. I have like 14 layers of spray polyurethane that I put on um, when I first got this door 15 years ago. So thank you for the shares, you guys. Hey, oh, wow. you, here's the funny part. You told them to share and our views went down. <laughs> I don't know what to tell them because I, I'm i going to be singing and it is special. So it's going back up. Y'all want me to sing? We gotta get, I gotta see 200 views. We're almost at 180. There's 180. It's going back up. So I think over my so, head is polyurethane. This is like a solid wood old door. I think it's fabulous. So then when we moved in here five years ago, we flipped the color around. And so on the other side, we used it as Elijah's headboard up until just like six months ago. And I finally just confiscated the bed the door and said you know what I need this door I'm going to do something different with it and so then I bought him like a gray modern padded headboard but he wasn't too happy about it because he doesn't oh, like okay. change he just he wanted his stinking door but I took it so Q suggested which was a great idea and I'm, I'm so grateful you came up with this idea that we actually paint the doors rather than paint doors on something so this should be fun but I need some ideas yeah. for colors of course if I get to choose you know I'm going with this one Hey, that's what I've got. Okay, so I have a question. So now this door is different on both sides. So we've got that side and we've got the white chippy side. Oh. So I think I'm like, I want to kind of keep the white chippy side and paint this side that has the white and gray. What do y'all think? Yeah? Yeah, that one. I'm just glad this one doesn't weigh 400 pounds. Yeah, this one, I can't lift this one by myself. Mm -mm. I have a bunch that I can't be moving either. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you all for the birthday the, wishes that continue to come in. I have been overwhelmed and with the, the wishes and the, the messages and all of the things. You guys are just fantastic and make me feel so special. Um, so, we're go. <clears throat> what was that? We're both starting with um, Bohemian Blue. Yeah. Hey, look what I was going to use. It's a great idea. Um, it's 43. Hey, hey, hey. Cheers. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> Boom. So then he asked, how old is he? 
All right, we're at a hundred. There. We're there, almost there. Somebody's gonna, the artist's gonna love it. I'm gonna be on American Idols next. Are you there? Yeah, can you not hear me? Hello? I'm here. You. Hello. Hello. Oh, man. I'm here. Really, we have a really bad connection, honey. You have a, uh, have a really bad connection. Well, I can hear you. Can you see me? Yes. I can. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, it's getting, it's getting a little bit better. I Is think. It better? I think it's. I think it's better. We're gonna have to get you some Wi-Fi boosters for that garage, or you're gonna have to stop using Wi-Fi and just use your phone Wi-Fi. Honey, I'm not the one that's pixelated. You are. I don't have any, I, I look great on my side. <laughs> okay. You there? Better? Yeah. We'll see. Hola. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Is it better? Yes. Awesome. Are you sure? Okay. I guess we're good. I turned off my Wi Fi. All right. Okay. 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 So we got a point. Me to, they're asking, she's talking about juggling. Did you see that little video clip she paints just put on there? No. Oh, too funny. Too funny. You'll have to sketch it later. It was a it was a dual it was a dual live that she and I were doing. And she took a little clip when she was rapping and I was dancing and I don't know what I was doing with the paint cans. It looked like I was juggling paint cans, although I don't juggle. <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab my water bottle because believe it or not, it's over there and I forgot to grab it, so I apologize. Okay, and so are we going to make these look like kind of like the old doors maybe we did last week, sort of, or Heck I you. think I need a better plan. I don't have a plan. You never have a plan. I know. I am, y'all, I feel like a little space cadet. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm going to make this, of course, <laughs> chippy and old, and this bohemian blues going right over this ugly jade green from 1968. Hey, watch it. Why? Is that the year? What? Why? Um, that's a wonderful year. Oh, well, I think that's a beautiful <laughs> year. But I don't like the shade green paint color. The paint, wasn't so, the paint wasn't so pretty, I'm not, maybe. No, I'm not liking this color, but it is layered and layered of paint. So we're going to use DIY because, of course, it sticks to anything. We did our lamps, and it stuck to that. Mine turned out pretty good. Not best, but pretty good. My, my, mine disappeared. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, really? Huh? Really? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what happened to that lamp. You're being selfish. Oh, <laughs> it's terrible. You didn't want to show us? Was it really that bad? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Did you bring a game tonight? No, let's play that other game. Is it out there in the garage? Which game? The one we played the other day. Oh, well, I don't keep things in the garage like that. Don't you know I put things up where they go? Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> Um, that was not even. Was that the jab? <laughs> no, not at all. Actually, I, I don't. If, it's all right. It's the truth. No, but if I had left it out here, Matt would have put it up, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yeah. But um, I mean, I can go get the game. You mean the one where we ask? Um, what was that called? Yes. We asked questions. I can't. I don't remember. 
That was like two weeks ago. Well, what did we do last week? Did we do a game last week? I thought. We did no, we did no game last week. Oh. Okay, I like this, no. this bohemian blue, but I think I want to add another color and then I want to use my large wallpaper scraper and just really pull the underneath layer. Right now I'm using my French tip from um, Paint Pixie. I'm using the, um, we're at 212, sister. It's time for you to start your singing. Oh, okay. All right, so here we go. All right. All right, now listen. Yep. This is a very special song. I only sing it to very special people. I'm, all right? I'm special. I'm special. Now, this is, this is, you talk about being in a vulnerable moment right now. Okay? So I'm a little nervous, and I'm going to try really hard. I got to turn the comments off for a second. <sighs> okay. Are you ready? Deep breath, sister. Okay. Deep breath. Nobody's here. I, I, may have, I may have to close my eyes and do it. Okay. <laughs> Go. You are beautiful. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dion. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yeah, that was beautiful. You're adorable. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> so embarrassing. No, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Very nice. Take your bow, ladies. Take your bow, lady. Encore. I cannot Encore. sing whatsoever. That was I can almost whisper, but that's it. <laughs> I do much better when I do it on a voicemail because I can really, like, not giggle at myself. But... <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. That was awesome. You guys, thanks for letting it get to that so she could sing us. Yep, she's a Marilyn Monroe. Okay, so I'm using my putty knife, and now I've grabbed my old 57, so I'm going to put some of it on here with my putty knife, and then I'm going to use my water bottle. I'm pretty excited about our theme song. Just FYI, I can't stop thinking about our theme song. Okay. What's it going to say, though? Can you imagine? I uh, know. And let me tell you, whoever writes it really needs to know us, I think. Don't you think? Yeah. Like, don't they have to know? No, don't they want to know, like, I'm not loud and, like, I think that their requirement needs to be that they need to watch every video. Okay, wait, we are on our, hold on, y'all get this, 65th week 65th of fighting week. out loud together. together. I think that's right, together. Awesome. And you've been doing it. Two months longer, right? Yes. Thank you so much for all the shares, you guys. Yes. So after this month, it'll be 18 months since I've been doing it. The theme song to I Love Lucy. How does that go, you guys? <laughs> I wish, sometimes I wish we could hear people, don't you? Yeah, I wish I could, like push a button and let people answer out loud. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I can hear this. I know. Because I don't, I still don't have the answer on how that song goes. Yeah. Um, I love Lucy, but I'm you know what just, right now. I, you know what just popped into my no head? Reason. What? Three company theme song. Come on, knock on my door. Nice. Like, how lame is that? <laughs> Come on, knock on my door. <laughs> it's kind of creepy if you think about it. It's a great song. Oh, my gosh. My heart was broken when John Ritter died. How about, how about the Jeffersons? Their theme song's pretty clever. Pretty catchy. Moving on up. Hey, we're moving on up. Mm -hmm. We're moving up, Q. We're getting a theme song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm using um, Farm Fresh, Bohemian, Hey Sailor. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm taking my large wallpaper um, thingy, my jigger whopper, and scraping the paint. Man, I have good ideas sometimes. You know what? I told Matt, I said, Q wants us to paint that old door. And he, he goes, that's a good idea. I'm like, I know. She's so good. <laughs> well, we want to make it look like one of our dream doors in like Tuscany or, you know, somewhere like that, right? Yeah, in Bali. Since we can't do that, we can't get there yet. Yet. Right? Yet. Yet. Since we can't get on to going to love. Come on, knock on my door. We've been waiting for you. Say, Dion, y'all, Dion can really sing. I cannot I can't. carry a tune for the life of me. Now, listen, I'm using this random, really bright green paint right now. So, and no, I'm sorry. It's, I don't, it's just a mix I did. So, I have no idea what I did to get this really bright green. Um, no, let's tell you. You just sang a song to me and held a tune perfectly well. <laughs> well, right there when I when you start getting scared, you can hear your voice just trembling. Yeah, I know Ooh, that. I heard it. <laughs> I was like, oh. So one time, I'll tell you a story. So one time, I thought that I could sing, and I was going to be in a singing competition. Really? All right. Uh huh. That's awesome. And so I knew this song that was called "Shake the Sugar Tree" really, really well. Okay. By Pam Tillis. Okay, Pam Tillis. Yes. Okay. Pam Tillis, "Shake the Sugar Tree." Love the song. I was pretty young, okay. and I decided that I can sing. Yep. So it is at the livestock show here in our area that they had a competition. It was so embarrassing that my family <laughs> hid from me and hid behind the tree <laughs> because it sounded like that someone was injuring a little piglet. Oh, stop <laughs> it. I really, I was so serious right now. So that was the end of my, my hopeful singing career. Have you ever done karaoke? <laughs> no. What? No, I watch, but I don't do it. I can't believe I've done something you haven't. <laughs> yeah, I watch. I, Dion, I am shy. I know you don't think that I am, but I am shy. Well, you know, sometimes you do things when you have a drink that you wouldn't normally do. Yeah, no, I've never been that drunk. Well, do you want to know what songs I last sang in my last time I did karaoke? Yes, I would love to know. Well, yes. let's just say that Holden was an infant. So it's been a really, really, really long time, as in 13 years. Um, Gretchen Wilson's. Oh, I love that. I love her. Redneck Woman. I love that song. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I bet you did. I bet you what's that supposed to mean? I was, in, I, was, I was actually, my, my best friend and I sang it, and we dedicated it to her sister who was at the party because she hated the song so badly that we sang it for her, dedicated it, and we laughed our way through it. And, um, and then Matt and I sang Islands in the Stream once because I was Dolly, parting for Halloween. Nice. Okay, other than the chorus, that's a stupid song. Just FYI. It, it, it was horrible. It was bad. Redneck Woman? No, Islands in the Stream. I know. <laughs> but you gotta love, love Penny and Dolly. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm thinking I've done We Are Family with my cousins before on stage for karaoke. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This lady named Charlie, she she just shared our video seventeen times. Charlie, you're the you're the winner. Um, wow, you're a superstar. You're like hold on, you're hold like on. our favorite, and um, everybody. Wait, hold on, let's see if I can do it. Superstar, superstar. We just went to SNL. We just went to SNL instead of FNL. We skipped, and that's right. Um, Charlie, <laughs> you um, you're our favorite, and so everybody give her give it hashtag Charlie's the winner. Hashtag Charlie's the winner. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, so I'm applying the old 57. Um, peeking out. No, wait, I read part of what Anissa wrote in her comment. <laughs> what did she say? What did she say? I don't I'll even do know what she said, except all I heard saw was the word. See, Charlie Winter, yay. Okay, so. These look beautiful, peeking in occasionally. She's having a summer party with her twin tonight. Oh, sweet. Okay, and so I have this, and then I'm doing this. <laughs> as one of my steps okay y'all see all this good stuff that i'm scraping off right here yeah oh yeah what, are, that, you gonna, what are you gonna do with all that stuff i'm gonna squish it up here you're gonna squish it back on huh yeah i'm gonna squish it back on and i'm just gonna keep it going Yep. I can't wait to use this door. Where where do you think you'll use it? Like to stage with or Yeah, stage it or what if someone um, wants to buy your door? This is like amazing. This is amazing if somebody like on their bathroom or their pantry. Okay, so what if someone like on those, can they buy it from that hardware? Yeah, that's for sale. Yeah. Shipping ought to be fun. Oh, that'd be easy. Yeah. I haven't seen. Um, have a, hi, Josie. I haven't seen you on here in a while. You haven't. You've been busy. You've been traveling. I haven't seen her. I need to know who that. She said she has a cousin by that name, and I want to know what name she's talking about. Um, I don't know either. Um, the only two that colors one? that I'm using are Bohemian Blue and Old Fifty Seven right now. And I'm using Farm Fresh Bohemian Blue Hey Sailor and a random green. I have no idea. <laughs> because you color mixed it yourself? Yes, I just mixed some colors together. Okay. So what do you got going on? Oh, he is. Q. Huh? What do you have going on yes, this weekend? Honey. I'm working, I'm working, working, working. So I'm picking up some new pieces and I'm delivering some pieces and um, and then, okay, so I may or may not have to go really far to pick up some pieces of furniture. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Some that you bought? Just, yes, yeah, some that I bought. It's already paid for and everything. It's just, it's going to be like a one of those 11-hour days driving. Oh, man, I'm cute. So that might happen on Monday. I'm going to work Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'm taking off. There's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday next at the end of next week. You realize we're both going to be out of town Friday night. Yes. That's we we, we, will, we always make it work. Yeah, I'm going to be in a hotel. I have I already have a plan. Oh, you do? So I do. Okay. I have a plan. Well, I don't. I may I don't know if I'll be in the ballpark in a car or in a hotel room, but I'll be in Biloxi, Mississippi, just like last spring break. Yeah. All about the baseballs. What did we do last time you were there? I can't remember. You didn't, were you in the hotel? You couldn't do Friday Night Live with me. You were not feeling well. And oh. so Matt, we oh, went wow. to the, we went back to the hotel and Matt interviewed me. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I was not feeling good. I remember that. Oh, I have good news. I didn't tell them my good news. I love good news. Let's bring it. Okay. So, I don't know how, if you guys have followed this for a really long time. This past year, I have had a mighty hard time keeping my iron, my hemoglobin up. Um, it got real dangerous. Um, May, June, like super dangerous, scary. Um, so when I finally got to the doctor um, to get, you know, looked at and everything about, I had to get infusions. So I had seven infusions and all that good stuff, okay? Yep. And I uh, one blood transfusion, which was bad, but it, I mean, I had to have it because it was so bad. So anyway, so I have, I got really exciting news. So I went to the doctor, got my hemoglobin, everything checked. 
You guys, my iron has gone from a 4.4 to a 15.1 and has held steady since my last treatment in August. That's fantastic. It is so great. It's fantastic. I'm not casting out and stuff now, you know, so. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> It was so bad. I was so sick when we went to San Diego. I know you were. I mean, I had to miss DIY boot camp and everything, which made me so mad. But I know that I had to take care of that. Oh, of course you did. You were so sick. I was. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh. Cool. Um, yes, and, and um, those are wonderful numbers. I'm so, so thrilled to hear that your numbers are standing strong and that your iron is so much better. You must just feel 10 times better than you did back in June. I do. I do. Oh, my God. This is, it's not in how I feel. I don't think, you know, you don't realize sometimes how sick you are because you just keep going. Well, I do remember, really I do remember being in San Diego with you and you laying down on the concrete. Yeah. Yeah. I was so, so sick. You were so sick. And, and you know, I had, we were in the heat, you know, and I mean, we're used to heat and stuff, but, you know, we didn't have a lot of a shade when we were teaching um, those couple of days we were there. And so that, you know, you do that for three hours straight and boy, it just, it just really took a toll on me. Yeah. And, and that was rough. Well, that's great news. I'm so glad you remembered to share with everybody because. Um, I know you probably get asked every once in a while how you're doing or how you're feeling and how's your iron. And so it's good that you were able to give us such a positive report. I'm so happy for you. I know. I know. Everybody's been so sweet. You too. I mean, you guys have been so supportive and like caring and, you know, I just, I, it's, you know, it's great. We have a good little family here. Yeah. Just a tiny little group. This little group, little group of folks. Group of thousands that want to check on you and know how you're doing. This is going to be so cool, you guys. Like, this is a good idea, Q. High fives on that one, sis. Fist bump. Thank you, Mama. I got a whole bunch of doors. I'm going to be having this. I'm going to have a door. I'm going to have a door sale. I'm going to have a door sale. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I know, because I have a bunch. I've been collecting them for a really long, long time. Okay, so okay. you guys, the other day I interviewed Q um, in our in my Creative Connection for Talk to Me Tuesday, and I printed off, I typed in best interview questions, and I got this thing that said the 36 best interview questions, um, most interesting, and just kind of changed it up, so some of them were really good, and then some of them were like this. If you could pick any state to get rid of in the United States, which paint, which state would you get rid of? It's kind of hard to answer on a Facebook Live, right? No. 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 <laughs> right? And then another one was like, okay, you find a baby elephant. What do you do with it? You can't sell it. Nobody will take it. What do you do with it? I don't know. Oh, you didn't ask me that. Yeah, I thought it was a lame question. It says it was one of the top 36 questions to ask in a job interview. What in the world? I guess we would call animal control. And I don't know if I'd want, maybe find us an elephant sanctuary. No, it says nobody, <laughs> it says nobody would take it. Well, nobody would take it. Well, I don't know. Take it home. And do what? <laughs> <laughs> and so another one let's see another one let me try to remember um another one of the questions was oh if you just left a job interview and you walk on the sidewalk and you see a ticket that wins you that be a, a multi-million dollar ticket what do you do at the, after that do you take the job or no <laughs> right no but those are no. those are job interview questions so do you tell them that at your job interview no you don't tell them that at your job interview so you lie well so you lie no no i don't know i don't like these questions I know. <laughs> They make me feel funny. Oh, they make me feel kind of dirty. No, not dirty, but weird. Yeah, I don't like these. I don't like these questions. I don't 
these questions at all. Thank God you're not. Thank God this ain't a real interview then, huh? Okay. Yeah. So I like, I like my job. <laughs> you're not going to go on a job interview for a while, are you, sis? Gosh, I hope not. I hope Gosh, not. y'all keep buying my furniture. Keep buying our furniture so we don't have to do that. Well, I don't want you to go get on a job interview either. Let's let you keep doing what you're doing. Okay. okay, I need a third color. I've got Bohemian Blue and Old 57 on this door. What do I do next? Cowgirl Coral, either Cowgirl Coral or Queen Bee or Kissing Booth. Which one? Are you, are you asking the crew? Ask the crew. What do they say? I'll give them a few minutes while we're watching your lovely work, sister. Uh, kissing Booth. You say Kissing Booth? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, what else is it? You guys, I'm saying Kissing Booth, Cowgirl Coral, or Queen Bee to go on this door. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you in closer because I can't actually pick up the door. Okay, so you see what it looks like before. And this. Man, I wish I had a dresser that was like this. Yeah, me too. I wish I had a piece like this. I mean, I can get, I can get them pretty close to this, but there's this old dry stuff under here that's amazing. Yeah, I know that stuff you're talking about. That's good stuff. Good. It's a good, good stuff. Good, good. So I will be okay. in Biloxi, Mississippi next week and next you gotta take y'all need to take the boys on a shrimp boat tour shrimp boat tour you know i won't see the big boy at all but the little one um i don't know if i want to go on a it's, shrimp boat it's so wonderful you learn so much and they get the shrimp and they get them on the boat and it's just cool and you got this guy that's been a fisherman for like 47 years and yeah. And he so he tells you all kinds of things. All the things. Yes. It's very educational. Okay, I'm going to move on forward. Okay, so I have Bohemian Blue because they're asking. Bohemian Blue, Farm Fresh, my random green. Um, I don't, can't tell what I'm doing here. I want to turn the light down so y'all can see it a little bit better. Okay, I'm going with so, Kissing Booth. Oh, ah, woo -woo. I'll do Kissing Booth. Okay, so let's see. Can you guys see this? See that? Oh, there's a little bit of a view. That's better. Can you see that a little bit, Dion? Yes, honey, that looks great. And then this side's a little lighter. Can you see that? Yes, or is I can see that side's lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is good, you guys. Good job. This was awesome. Look at that. Are y'all seeing how awesome this looks? I feel like the yeah, this looks awesome, and that looks great, Q. I love that. Careful. We're back in. Oh yeah, we're not even in like view. Gosh, I just hate. I cannot get a good. I didn't want. I try. I was gonna sit on the floor, Dion, but I am so sore right now. I knew I could not handle it. Well, don't. I don't want you sore the rest of the weekend, sister. No, oh, I will be. I'm not. I've got so much work to do. It's a crazy weekend, which I'm blessed, so I'm not complaining. I just have a lot to do. Well, I'm gonna so. try. I had to work. You know, I mean, I didn't have to work. I chose to work today on my birthday, so I thought tomorrow I might take a little time off. That'd be good. Really good. Um, Josie, I have no idea. I do not know. I'll probably use it to stage with for a little while until I'm tired of moving it all over the place. And then I will probably either sell it. I don't know. I don't know. I've had it for 15 years. I've had this one probably six. They're hard to get rid of, aren't they? Yeah, I have a bunch. Like, I think that if I ever can get into the dream, little dream ranch, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. 
eventually I will use all these doors through through your house. So I'll have a brand new door on every single doorway through your house, your <laughs> your house, your dream yes. house. My, my dream house slash studio. Yes, girl. So it's a house of audio or a studios a studios house of audio studios studios yeah okay i'm still thinking about our go ahead think about i'm still thinking about our theme song i can't stop thinking about it cuz i'm trying to come up with some lyrics Well, I keep losing my stuff. No. You're well, you're not losing it. Technically, you're putting it back in the wrong place. Oh. All right. Which is what 90% of us do, right, guys? Yes. I know that for sure. <laughs> uh, ooh, look at the green. Are you adding pink now? Huh? Are you adding pink now? I'm adding Kissing Booth and I'm adding Queen B. Hey, Robert. I'm adding Queen B. Robert Wait, Gloria. What? Robert Gloria, did you know that you won the paint for tonight? Woohoo! Um, Gail said, What did Matt get you for your birthday? Okay, so he bought me a new easel so I could have one here and one in the other room so I don't have to keep rolling them out. Now, he's so clever. He puts casters on my easels. So I can just roll them around. So I looked at him and I opened the box. I said, is this just like my other one? He said, yes. I said, are you going to put casters on them? And he said, I already have them. And I'm like, yes. And then he bought me um, a new, like, like a, you know, like a paint palette. Like instead of a wood one, he bought me a lucite one. So you can, yeah. you know, scrape the paint off a little bit easier. Yeah, also, I sanded it off my wood one. And then he bought me, um, I say he bought me, he bought me Girl Stop Apologizing from Rachel Hollis, even though I ordered it last August. I said, here's a birthday present for me. <laughs> and I, it came in the mail today on my birthday. Yeah, I saw it there. Everybody was getting them. How weird is uh, that? I see I can't stay awake to read anymore. But I can't sleep at night, but I sure can fall asleep when I'm trying to read a book, but I don't stay asleep. Well, I will read her books because it's more yeah it's just I've been I'm, I'm excited to read Rachel Hollis's book but I, you know I'm going to see her in Dallas in July yeah I just love her I'm excited so that's what he got me um, and I spent my birthday money already before I had it she gets a, like a she gets a pre-approved loan for her birthday money. Yeah. Before I have it, I already <laughs> spent it. Um, Mama bought me shoes. Um, anyway, I always get spoiled on my birthday. Um, they're telling you you should try the audiobooks because as far as Rachel Hollis goes, she actually records her own voice for the for the audiobook. And Gail, Ty yeah. Gail Tyler says she's already through the audible halfway and it's so very good. So you could just turn it on and girl. I'm telling you, it's very motivating. Like, after I listen to her, I just, I can go run, and I don't run. I can go, like, lift weights, and I don't really lift weights. Um, I can swim in a marathon, but I don't really do that. But I feel like I can do anything after I listen to her. And I need that. I need that. Well, that sounds like something I might need to do. If I buy it for you, will you will you do it? Well, sure. Well, sure. <laughs> you don't have to do that, though. Because you'd feel guilty not to, though. Probably. Hey, I like what you're doing there, sis. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. It's very pretty. I feel like I have to walk away from mine because it's really wet on the section that I'm painting. And so I kind of stopped because I want it to set up a little bit more. 
So the way, the best part of DIY is a, that it will stick to basically anything. And two, you can build it up in layers, especially when you use tools like putty knives and things like that, you can really build it up. And so I'm going to let it dry and then I'll want to come back in and put more color on it. Um, so I love this brush so much. Y'all. That's the paint pixie. Thank you. That's the dusty. That's brush. The dusty. I, I, I'm sorry. I think this needs to be renamed to Queda baby. <laughs> this is the Cake Pixie Queda Baby brush, also known this as This is the Q the Baby. <laughs> yes, it, AKA Q Baby. I almost don't use if it will fit. I don't know. It just fits my hand so good and it covers. Look how wide. Yeah. It makes like your job easier. So much fun. It makes your job easier, right? Yes. Yes. Yep. Layers like this take time usually, and they take a lot of like drying time and going back and forth. But I feel like you can just come back to it at any point, and like you're good. No matter where where you leave off or where you come back, it's um it's good. Uh, Josie said Dusty's having a love affair with everyone. Naughty boy. <laughs> Well, it's a Q baby in my studio, so that's how I brand it. And I'm just going to do that because this, this is brush I think was just made for me. So I'm just going with that. Well, I, think, <laughs> I think that works perfectly. Well, because I think initially the thought for the brush was to use it for, I don't even think it was intended to use to paint with from what I understand. And so I started painting with it and I was, I guess I was on a live and Josie goes, I didn't even think of doing it, you know, like that. But then so everybody kind of started, cause you were using it for clear coat when you first started using it, right? Well, I think it was for painting. She said it was for blending. Oh, I thought it was just for like, um, maybe, maybe, I don't know what I thought it was for. The wax but, brush. I don't know. No, I was thinking the wax brush, the little C. Oh, this? I use this too. You oh, paint this with, one I use. You paint with that, and that, she, we were just thinking was for wax, but you painted with that because you like the way it. I paint with these too. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one you're talking it about. Is, I, like the short, I like the short handle for my, like when I'm doing a lot of work. Yes. So it just, is ergonomically, it's comfortable. You're so smart. <laughs> I don't know if it's smart or something else, but thanks. Hey, can we get some spring up in here? Can we get some warmer weather? Hey, it was beautiful here. Today. I mean, as far as weather today, it was like 60-something. Oh. I was so happy. Oh, my gosh. I got to paint. Y'all, I haven't been able to paint in my studio for almost a week. Oh, good. That's just, like, that's hard for me. Yeah, that kind of sets you back a little bit, probably. Oh, gosh. Hold on. I got, okay, we're going to have to move this. So, everybody, I want them to see this up close Yeah. while I'm doing it. Bring it in closer. Okay. All right. Let's, hold on. Pause, oh, pack up. <laughs> okay, so you're <laughs> going to let us take a look at this better. It, it was 50 here and much warmer, but it was still overcast, so it wasn't pretty. If we had had some sunshine. Okay, where am I? Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks I'm great. Right here's where I want to be. Well, I want you all to see this part. Let's see. I don't want to lose all that squish I just got off there. Now you're just bragging. It's pretty wet. Now you're just bragging. It's okay. No, I'm I'm showing. We're having we're painting. Got to show something if we got it right. Yeah. Okay, now y'all, when you start painting too many colors together, let's just tell you what you get. You get brown. <laughs> you don't want brown. <laughs> no. Unless you're trying to get brown. I'm not. So, okay, where am I at? You don't want your colors to muddle. That's right, which is why I had to walk away from mine. I just, I need to let mine dry because I don't want any muddling. Looking good, sister. You see that? Now she's yeah. bragging. She's got the right to the bragging. Mm -hmm. I ain't bragging. Look at that brown. <laughs> so pink and yellow make brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So last week, 
after our Friday Night Live, um, the, the yes. following day, Saturday, I painted live yes. and I painted flowers on a wardrobe. And can I just yes. say that that was so very much fun um, that I'm becoming addicted to using my new brushes and painting flowers. Yes. And I got, I'm excited to get them. Hurry up already. I know. We only have a few more weeks, guys. Our brushes, um, the Paint Pixie brushes that are the Turquoise Iris collection, um, we are selling these like crazy. The Magic Pack. Um We've been selling them like crazy, and they're only available for pre-order. But this thing made my life so much easier when I was painting the the flowers on the wardrobe. And to be honest, it ended up, well, it did sell that night after I got off of my live. And so it's being picked up tomorrow. And um, I'm really, really, really excited for my customer to see it in person. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited about that. I can't wait for James to get here tomorrow and get it to her. Yeah, you paint pretty darn good. You think? Yes, it's you all right. I all right. You keep telling me that. Yeah, you, all right. you all right. Okay, can y'all y'all can't see this? Hold on. So, um, Josie's gonna check on these um on Monday and see if the date is still holding true to be April first for our shipping date. Um, but anyway, it's coming up pretty close, you guys. You can take in pre orders right now. That looks fabulous, Q. Can y'all see it very good? Yep. Right there. That right there. there on that side right there. That's all the stuff. Filling all the fields right now. All the fields. Yeah, and it helps this wood is super dry. Yeah, the dry wood is the best. Especially with DIY. This old dry paint. Look at this big old gap. Can y'all see that gap? Like I can stick. There's this gap between the <laughs> the panel. <laughs> Mine is that way. This door is, this door is so rickety. Mine is that way. It's not rickety. I mean, it's, mine is busted. Like the wood is like busted in the center of it. And so I have lots of big gaps. But gosh, don't you love that part? Yes. Yes. I mean, where was this door? I mean, the, the it still has the hardware on the other side. One of those big old metal locks. But I didn't want to paint that side. So... I probably won't scrape the whole thing. Um, on Dina, the brushes, there are um, three in the magic pack with the carrying tube, and then there are five in the team. Um, no, I said that backwards. I said that backwards. The magic pack has five, um, and then the, um, the team has the three larger ones. Okay. Both of them come with, come with the tube, the carrying tube for storage. Q, that looks great. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that looks good. Oh, yeah, oh, girl. Just wrestling. Okay. <laughs> Are y'all enjoying this horrible tripod situation? Well, what you doing? Well, I'm trying to readjust so I can talk to you because I can't talk to you when it's like down here on the ground. I can't wait to see that. If you don't get that done this week, which I know is because you have vacation and you're going to be gone and stuff, um, but we may need to just pick this up next time that we're both here for Friday Night Live and keep working on this. Oh, you will not wait on me. Don't even start that baloney. I thought you were going to wait on me on the door. You done for, I knew what was happening. You tell, you, you watch your mouth right now. You didn't like your door necessarily. <laughs> You watch it. <laughs> we were going to do this video, and I don't know what happened. She just got all inspired and just went on without me. <laughs> well, it was a painting. I finished it, and I said, are you going to be done? And you said, no, I won't be done, I don't think. It was a, I only had a day. <laughs> I couldn't get it done. I wasn't fast enough. Well, I just never know how you're going to be, because sometimes you'll stay up till 3 a.m. painting finishing a painting. I mean, you worked on the elephant like all night or no, was it the, was it the sea lion? No, it was the seahorse. It was the seahorse. You worked on all night. Thing. And that's the one you chose to do and not the door. I was struggling with the door. I mean, it's beautiful. I don't know what you're struggling with. It's so pretty. Well, I'm hard on myself, myself, I suppose. Well, I would like you to stop. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. I will stop. No, you won't. Right now. You won't either. <laughs> okay, we gotta scrape this other side yes, and see indeed. what happens. Yes, indeed. Mine, guys, mine is still just so wet. Um, that it's, I'm just, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it be for a while. That's why you don't see me painting on it right now. I think mine just sucked up all this paint. I mean, just sucked it in. And then what little bit of old paint is still on here? It's just like catching that part coming off. Mm -hmm. So guys, we're going to continue to come up with our theme song. I'm seriously hoping yes. to have that for you in the next couple of weeks. Um, I am just going to just be like over the moon and possibly a little annoying if we do get a theme song put together because then I will um, probably sing it way too much. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super stoked for that. Yay! Um, so this is Bohemian Blue and this was Old 57 and then Kissing Booth and Q. You started with um, Bohemian Blue. Yeah. Bohemian, Far Fresh, okay. Kissing Booth, Queen Bee, and Random Green. Random Bright Green that she mixed herself. And yeah. um, like I said, mine is still mine is still in hey I'm a hot mess mode. Nobody take my picture mode. I'm not looking my best mode, but just give me a little bit of faith and a little bit of time and I'll be better. That's the mode that mine's in right now. Yes. Mine's not. Mine's, it, mine's pretty, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to wait and see it when I put it up on my wall, I think. Because I have a hard time, like, when I'm standing here doing this, you know, painting. Yeah. Kind of even thinking it looks good until I get it out there in my staging lights um with the with the natural light yeah because sometimes it just doesn't it don't look this is all for us yeah it changes here. the lighting of every all everything right yeah and that's not none of this is, is like really true to the colors that it needs to be honestly oh my god i'm in love with this door <laughs> So we're going to see this baby stage several times, hopefully, in a piece of furniture. Um, yeah. We are going to, um, no, when we're talking about the theme song, Kristen can sing it, but that's not what I mean. I mean someone to write an actual theme song with words and lyrics and put it together with the music. And um, at, Robert says it's got to be a Western theme song. No, nope, it's going to have to have, be catchy. It's going to have to have a little hip-hop action sound into it. That's, it's got. It's got to say. It's doesn't have to be about like us and who we are. That makes a big difference. Yeah, um, we're using DIY paint from Debbie's Design Diary. It's a clay-based paint, and the reason, um, the reason that my door is taking so long to dry, a, is because it's extremely humid and rainy outside. Um, but we're glad that you're here. We're glad that you came and watched us this tonight. We're here every Friday at eight thirty Central Time right here on this page at the Turquoise Cyrus. And this is Queen Allen of All Shabbed Out. And um, she's cute. <laughs> You're cute. I ran out of things to say. Um, I ran out of things to on say. Your birthday. Okay, I, well, now listen, I hadn't told you all the funny stories. So I got, I had, this all happened to me today. Why are you holding okay? You've been holding out on us. Come on. It's my birthday. Well, I was, I was, I was in the mode. What time is this? Is it time to go? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell us what time it is. Okay. So today I started off my day really wonderful. Okay. So I was going to get up and get going and do my thing. It's my Friday bank. Well, it's Dion's it. birthday. Hello. Dion's birthday. And I really wanted to be there with her, but I did not finish my projects. So I couldn't, I was grounded and I could not come and see her. Oh, honey. So I know I was grounded. So I actually was dressed in like normal clothes, not my work stuff, nothing like that. So as I'm leaving the house, I step in dog poop. Okay. In my in my good shoes that don't have any paint on them, but now they got the dog poo on. So good morning to me. Good morning. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know where I stepped on the dog poo, but it was actually in our house, not outside. And I didn't know that until a while ago when I was told that it was 
and I didn't even know. So <laughs> that's how oblivious I was to the situation. So then I was eating really healthy and I was eating the kale salad. Okay. Good job, sister. Chick fil A has the best kale salad like ever. And so I go get so the kale salad. All right. And it's only this big, but they chop it up real fine. It's really delicious. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So blah, blah, blah. this last year, year I had an, a crown put in, a crown fix, whatever, put in. So I was, I was trying to, you know, like flossing and all that after I eat and rinse my mouth out and that's, you know, being a good girl. So on that crown, I see at the top of my tooth, not in between, kale. Uh-oh, okay? kale stuck in the tooth. I can't, I can't get it out. And I'm freaking out because I can't get it out because you don't want anything like in your teeth like stuck or anything because it'll abscess or get bad. So I feel like a moron. So I tried and I was trying not to irritate my gum and make it worse. So I actually called the dentist. You did? And I'm how to get the kale? How to get my kale out of my teeth, Doc? I did. I called and I said, I am I feel like such a dork. And so I tell her what's going on and she's laughing. And she goes, I am so sorry, I'm not laughing at you, but it's just the way you are saying it. She I had her rolling. I was just like, okay, ma'am. This is really, really stupid question, but I need some help. I cannot get the <laughs> out of my tooth. It's up by my crown. It's not in between my teeth, right? Who has to go to the dentist and pay $45 to try to get your stupid kale out of your teeth? Crap. That kale that cost me $45. Salad, that salad got a lot expensive. I mean, it got expensive there. You can't be paying that every Already single time expensive. you eat that kale salad. Shoot. Yeah. <sighs> oh, my gosh. You went to the dentist and they had to help you? Yes, I went to the dentist, and so I had the little little hygienist. She couldn't get it. Had the dentist come in, and he's like, "Oh, it's just between your teeth." I go, "No, it's not between my teeth. It's where my crown is in my gum." What did you do? You still got kale? Well, he don't know. He doesn't know if he got it or not. I don't know. <laughs> I guess if it gets abscessed, we'll know I have kale. And then they'll have to take the crown off, which it took me forever to get that fixed right. So it's like, I don't really want them to do that. But so that was my day. So then I had bought some avocados when I was on a job and I had a little plastic knife, cut them, and I just eat them like that yeah. when I'm on a job. Yeah. So can you scoop them out and just with, with a spoon and they're good. So for, I guess out of the sack, one of the avocados fell out in the car. Oh, so, oh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so two days later, I, there's this weird something. It wasn't smelly, but it was like earthy. And I'm like, what is that? So I start searching around in my car and it's the avocado. Oh, no. <laughs> Dog poo, kale in the teeth, dentist. Avocado. Emergency dentist and avocado. <laughs> Welcome to the world. Quita. goodness yep. gracious girlfriend oh my goodness mm -hmm. so um, that's my day <laughs> well I guess on that note that's a different day than what I had but it is my birthday I keep mentioning that because I'm ornery like that <laughs> oh gosh girl you got me in stitches I've never lost an avocado in my car I like that I've never I've never yeah, I lost I lost an avocado but I didn't know I lost it because I couldn't remember how I bought it. I usually buy like three or four so yeah because <laughs> I'll eat two for for my little snack you know oh I eat one almost every day for lunch yeah, I just, yeah. I, I can just eat, they're so good. Yeah, but I didn't have any bugs or anything, just, yeah. Well, that's hysterical. <laughs> All right, you guys, so next week, like we, I want to remind you that we will both be off location in um, two different areas, so I don't really know where I'll be, it depends on what time the ball games are. Um, I, if I remember correctly, the ball game starts at seven, which means I would be at the ballpark in a strange city, so who knows what you're going to get. Um, but it's you're gonna do. I challenge you to paint in the car like I did. I am not gonna do it because if I get paint on anything, I'm a dead. And when I say dead, I'll be oh, no. so mad at my you have a brand new car. I have a brand new car, you silly girl. I'm not gonna paint in that baby. 
I didn't get any. I already have paint on my seat anyway. Mine is now a work truck. Yours is a work truck. I have to say. <laughs> it's work truck. It's moved on to work mm -hmm. truck, and you painted in your car, and you're awesome like that. But I won't paint in my car. You can challenge me all day long. I still won't do it. Okay. Well, I wonder what we're going to do then. This ought to be fun. I don't know. But are you going to come to Biloxi and show up? I wish I could, but that's a little far for me, Cookie. I have plans. I already have plans. I know you do. You're going to so. have a good time, too. So we will be off location, you guys. We're going to continue to work on these doors. Um, maybe not this week, but the following week, because um, I promise I won't be in any rush to get it done. I promise. I don't know. I kind of like mine, and I don't, I think... I'm kind of close to being done. My Marlis just said that that new car has a loud horn. Did you know what I did? I was so rude. Like, it haunted me that night. Can I tell you what I did? Yes, of Let course. Let me get it off my chest. It might help me sleep because I, after our, after um, the class with Anissa and I, I, yes, I'm listening. I, you know, I dropped, from my I took you to your car after dinner. Oh, yeah, that was fun. And then I took, Yes, that we didn't. We didn't even tell that story. We didn't tell him that. We didn't tell, okay, hang on, hang on. Y'all don't. Okay. Y'all don't go anywhere. Or should we save that story? No, tell okay, it. Okay, well, hang on. Okay, so I had to take Q to her car, and then I was taking Kristen. She paints to her hotel um, because she did not have a car. So I'm pulling up to the hotel, and Kristen and I are just yak 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 yak, and then I see two friends. And they walk right in front of my car. And instead of being a nice person, I laid on the horn and scared the bejeez out of my two very special, lovely, beautiful friends. And they were like, and they look at me and they can't really see me because the car is really dark. And I was like, I think you're so rude. Well, the car, like, it scared them. Like, yeah. the car just pulls up and then goes, Rah! and my two sweet friends look at me and I was like, I am the worst person in the world. I'm so sorry. Can I take that back? Like, I just almost started crying because I couldn't believe that I just scared my Marlis and my Mallory just like that. And so they come over. Yeah, Marlis, she's like, I really about wet my pants. She about wet her pants. <laughs> like, how rude. And I was so upset with myself that I did that. Like, it, I was like, I'm so sorry. I was afraid they'd never talk to me again. Oh my God. Well, we had, I mean, all we did was, so I can start my car from my phone. Okay. Yeah. So it's cold that night. Dion's taking me back to my car and it's parked at the reclaim warehouse, which there's not a soul in sight. It's just my car. But yet we pull up and we see somebody pulled up on my car, bright lighting it. We're not sure who it is. So Dion is the fearless woman that she is instead of hesitating and worrying about who it was, she guns it. I didn't gun so it. She had, I wouldn't know who yes, was she, I wouldn't know who was by your car. I thought someone was trying to break into your car. That was my first thought. Yeah. So we pull up and the cops are like out there bright light and they go, they're so confused that my car is started with no human inside. It was a dark park. Like guys, there's no light. There's nothing around yes. except her car sitting there with the lights on or, you know, and it's running and yeah. it was like security. They were security police officers, I guess. I don't know where they came from. Oh, they were real police. No, no, you're they right. Were they more, were real police. You're right. They were. Yeah, yeah, because he had his hand on his gun, and I'm like, oh, you can just take that off. So I just I'm, roll I'm, up I'm and just the window, window, and I'm like, hey, guys, that's her car. We, we were here at an event today. He goes, oh, yeah, we saw that. He goes, we can understand why it was started with no one in it. And I was like, oh, I can start it from my phone technology. She started at 10 minutes when we were in another town before we had driven to more. I never, yeah, it never occurred to me, though, that your car was started, like, I just thought there was a truck shining their lights on your car. And I thought, who is this person shining their lights on Q's yeah. car? And, and Q was like, she texted me later and she's like, dude, he had his hand on his gun. Like he didn't know who we he were. Didn't. We were creeping up on him, pulling up. And they thought yeah, like, had they didn't know what was going on. And I'm, we're just so like, we weren't doing anything wrong. We're just innocent. Yeah. <laughs> we're innocent. So she jumped yeah, in her car. She's that. like, we didn't, quite think it we didn't think it through because it came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. And you jumped in your car and you just 
drove off and I was like driving off and here we go. And she paints is just, she paints. Chat, chat, chatty. Yes, she was chatty, Kathy. That's my girl. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was so surprised, but you know, Dion, you can do that from your, you can do it from your phone too. So you just have to download the remote link app for OnStar. I don't know. Do you have OnStar though? No. Oh gosh, you I don't have know. it. It's so worth it. If you lock your keys in your car or you need directions or you need emergency help, it is so worth the money because I have, I How have, been, or need to be towed or gas, run out of gas, any of that. They're awesome. How much is it? Mm, I think it's like $12 a month, maybe 12 or 20. That's not bad. I've been paying it since I had my car and it has paid itself off many times. <laughs> Now, I don't really lock my keys in there because I can call the number and they'll unlock them for me. So you can actually call OnStar and they will unlock it if you don't have the app on your phone. Oh. You just have to have the code, the secret code. And so that's awesome. But I've ran out of gas before. Um, I've needed my car towed before. Instead of having that on my insurance, it's actually cheaper just to have OnStar because they get all that other stuff. Wow. So, yeah. Look at that. I, know, I didn't even know that. So that was our experience. First that happened. And then I went and scared Marlis and Mallory so bad that she almost peed her pants. And <laughs> anyway, that's what Marlis meant by that. I was like, yeah, that new car has a loud horn. That's exactly right. That's right. All right. <laughs> All right. We better let everybody go. You guys, good night. Um, I'm going to go eat because guess who never ate her pizza beforehand because she didn't have enough time. Oh. No worries. Well, happy, 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 happy birthday. And I adore you very much. You know what? I adore you. And I'm so thrilled. Like, who would have thought that I'd be here on a Friday night on my birthday, hanging out with all 200 and how many ever people were on here earlier? It's so much fun. And I get to paint. I'm so grateful that I get to paint. Yeah, me too. Yep. Yeah, me too. I'm grateful, but girl, this girl's tired. I'm hoping I can sleep tonight. I got a very, very, very early long day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, hang in there, girl. I'll be thinking about you while, um, yeah. while I'm not. What? I said, I'll be thinking about you tomorrow. And then I was like, while I'm not um, having a long day. <laughs> You're not having a long I think day. Well, it's okay because this is my very, like, the delivery is Sunday. It is my very, I have decided to no longer take client customs anymore. People who own their pieces and either bring them or have them shipped to me. I'm going to work on my own inventory, my own creations, my own artwork, and sell all of that. And I'm so elated. You just have no idea. I kind of do. I get you, girl. I understand where you're, I understand how you feel about that. And so I'm, I'm glad that you've made that decision. And um, I did. High five. Change is a coming. Change is a coming, girl. It's been coming since you met me. I keep saying it. Change is a coming. I'm ready for it to get here, sister. <laughs> a lot has changed already. It has. It has. It Bye. has. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. I'm going. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. You guys, that's Queda Allen of All Shabbed Out. If you're not already following her, I tagged her in the top of this thread. Please go like her Facebook page. She's also on Instagram. Um, occasionally, she even offers a little tutorial, too. So um, the next tutorial that I have coming up is a Facebook Live challenge. It's not a challenge. It's a three-week Facebook Live course. So for those of you that are actually in business or have some sort of creative business, if you're interested in how to get better at Facebook Lives, you can go to the turquoisecyrus.com and that's my next course that I have coming up. I do have an in-person um, workshop that I have to announce too. It's with Leah Rex from Leah Noel Designs. You guys, she's coming here to more Oklahoma and April 27th, she's going to paint with me side by side. We're going to do two different pieces. We're going to give those pieces away. It's going to be so much fun. And for all of you that continue to send me happy birthday wishes, it's been a wonderful birthday. And thank you for sharing it with me. And thank you for your sweet messages. Have an awesome weekend and we'll see you next week.